She was born into a life of privilege at Lissadell, but left it behind. Constance Markovich, artist, revolutionary and social activist, died 90 years ago in a public hospital ward. So she was brought up to the rotunda where she lay in state. The poor of Dublin visited in their thousands. She brought Dublin to a standstill. The people acknowledged her as a truly remarkable Irish woman. In 1919, she became Ireland's first female government minister, but it was 60 years before Maura Gagan Quinn became the second woman appointed to cabinet, and she's still annoyed by the dearth of women in Irish politics. What's happening now is they're looking around all the parties to see, are there women in our organisation that would be interested in going and that we could support? And that's very important, and that's something that did not always happen in the past. So I think from now on, we'll see, we're not there yet. Yet, but we certainly, I think, are moving in the right direction. Eamon de Valera gave the graveside oration at Constance Markovic's funeral. His grandson repeated that tribute today. Madam Markovic is gone from us. Madam, the friend of the toiler, the lover of the poor. And a message from okay. President Higgins honoured her legacy. President Higgins said that Constance Markovic's language was one of egalitarianism and humanity, a language which he said remains vital in today's increasingly interconnected world. And as his message was shared at Lissadell, President Higgins' wife Sabina laid a wreath at Constance Markovic's grave in Glasnevin Cemetery. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Sligo.